Good morning. This interview is for the Carroll County Oral History Project. I'm here with Jane Sharp. Hello. Hi. All right. First off, um, can you tell me a little about a little bit about your family's history before Carroll County? Before Carroll County, my family came from Switzerland and Germany, probably in the late 1700s. We're still working on looking into family genealogy. They came on ships probably through Philadelphia and settled in southern Pennsylvania and northern Maryland. And that was my grandparents. My father's family settled in Maryland. My mother's family settled in Pennsylvania. Um, where at did they settle in Maryland? Uh, Union Mills, northern Union Mills. Carroll County. Okay. So um, precisely how long would you say they've been in Carroll County for? I would say almost 200 years. 200 I years, guess. wow. All right. Um, and where did you grow up in Carroll County? I grew up in the Union Mills area, which okay. is north central Carroll County. And um, what were your surroundings like when you were little? We were in Union Mills, it's kind of like a small village. It's not an incorporated town, uh, but yet it's certainly not a, a town or a city, but compared to the area around it, which was more rural and country, mm -hmm. as they say. Um, you mentioned rural and country, how it used to be. Have you seen any changes throughout the years? Tremendous change. Tremendous. A lot of the open space and farmland now going into housing developments or, or just individual houses, the loss of kind of the open space feeling of Carroll County. Why do you think that is? Part of it is a need for housing for people place, need places to live and the population is certainly larger. Part of it is, I guess, the economic advantage of selling off some farms when there are people who are not into agriculture because it's not a, a profession that people really go into anymore. So a lot of different reasons about that. Okay. And um, where do you think that most of the population that's moving into Carroll County is coming from? All over, I would guess, I would say, because I know a lot of our friends have come here from different parts of the country because of jobs in the Baltimore or Washington mm -hmm. area. Okay. Um, and when you were growing up, did you make trips frequently to the town of Westminster? Yes. You did? Westminster and the surroundings, since my mother was from Pennsylvania to Littlestown in Hanover. Okay. Um, and what do you remember about Westminster back then compared to now? It was quaint even at that time because it wasn't spread out. There was, I mean, everything was self-contained downtown. There were no shopping centers mm -hmm. or anything like that till the later years. Um, can you tell me a little about what kind of shops were downtown? There were even grocery stores downtown, uh, clothing stores, uh, really neat department stores that are no longer, unfortunately, there. All right, and when you were growing up, what did you and your friends do um, for fun? We rode our bikes, we visited each other, because living in a small village-like community, uh, we could walk to each other's houses and, and play games. and. And we had, we're fortunate enough, there was a, a swimming pool, community swimming pool in Carroll County at that time uh, called Meadowview Pool. And it was between Silver Run and Union Mills. And so in the summers, that was where we would spend a lot of our time. All right. Um, and did you ever go to any of the movie theaters that used to be downtown? Yes, Growing up. the Carroll Theater. The Carroll Theater. And like I said, my mother was from Pennsylvania, so there was a theater in Littlestown. Okay. And so that was close, and we also frequented that. Living so close to the Maryland-Pennsylvania line uh, gives us the advantage of, of spending time in both areas. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so what has, drawn, what has drawn you to stay in Carroll County your entire life and not want to leave? That's a very good question. Um, I went away for college and I came back and stayed with my family. I married a gentleman who ended up in Carroll County by way of Mass from Massachusetts to Baltimore okay. to Carroll County and uh, he had built a home in the area and when I married him uh, his home was here at that time and so we just stayed. My profession was in Carroll County and uh, most of my family is still here though they are scattered all over the United States now. I like it and I like to promote it saying that we have the best of all worlds here because we can go to wa downtown Washington to the museums and restaurants and theater and have dinner and go see a show and then come back home to beautiful rural Carroll County. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not quite as rural like we were talking yeah. about. Or we can be in Baltimore, uh, we can be in Philadelphia, we can go to New York. We're on the East Coast and, and we pretty much 
have access to everything, but yet to be living in a very nice, unurban lifestyle. So do you think you'll ever move at this point? No, I don't think so. I, I, I really don't know. Who knows what the future would yeah. bring? Uh, probably not far from this area. Okay. So you mentioned your um, profession. Can you um, talk a little bit about what your profession has been um, throughout the years? Yes, I've, I've been a librarian at McDaniel College for many years, uh, which was formerly Western Maryland College when I started here. Um, it was um, the job that was available at that time. My training was to be a children's librarian, but I, there was a job opening at the college, and so I took that profession and uh, I, I love the, the college atmosphere. Um, so do you think that the college has helped change Carroll County at all because you've been working here? Like have helped it urbanize or, or not? I don't know. I, that's a good question. Um, I think the college has always been an important part of Carroll County, but I think it's a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. Although we talk about the college, we talk about it being on the hill. Um, I don't know how many really strong opportunities they have been to really interact. For me, there were, was interaction all during my life because the college provided facilities for uh, all county activities. There mm -hmm. was in the spring something called an Estedfid, which is a choral festival. And the biggest place to have it was Alumni Hall on the campus where all the county schools brought together choruses and performed there other programs and things that were performed on campus because the campus at that time provided the large meeting area, as yeah. it does now for the high school graduations. Mm -hmm. um, where did you attend high school in Carroll County? I attended high school at Westminster High School. Westminster. Um, and at that time, was Westminster the only high school in the Westminster area? Yes. Um, there was the Catholic school, St. John's, at that time that went to high school but Westminster was the only one in the Westminster area. Um, what was high school like for you back then? Just like a story or something that just... It really was good. It was, it was good. It was in... Uh, I'm not going to reveal the year. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was good. It only with three grades. It was 10th through 12th okay. uh, because there was a junior high school at that time. And that went 7th, 8th, and 9th. And most of us, we went to smaller elementary schools out in the county and came into the junior high school in, in ninth, I came in in ninth grade at that time when my elementary school, junior high, slash, went to sixth grades. Okay. And so I spent one year at the junior high school and then at the high school. And it was just a, a really good time because of the size of it. You could participate in a lot of things. And uh, it, it wasn't quite as big as the high schools are now. And I think that kind of lends it to uh, just a little more um, community type. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think education has changed since you were in high school to what it is now? Drastically. 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 There's so many more opportunities for students. We were, we had like three lines that you could go to, an academic going to college, uh, commercial, which was going out into the business world, and then a general education type of thing. So you really had to select one area and really kind of work into that area and not really spread out having different things to try. Mm -hmm. um, I think students really have a lot more advantages now. Technology is certainly a big one like that. They, they have more course selections and things to do like that. Um, how else has technology changed um, the county? I think it has. I think the county has can even go greater strides mm -hmm. with technology because some of the, the homes do not have really good internet access. Uh, you call up some of the companies and they say, well, yes, we offer this. You see it advertised on TV, but it's not in your area. So and I think the county can be influenced. I think there are ways of communication the county could use with technology that's not really there yet because if you don't get the cable, if you don't have cable, you don't get the cable stations that do all the local county programs. If you're on a, a DISH satellite, mm -hmm. you don't have that opportunity to keep that community connection in this day and age, and I think that's there has to be a better way. And is the reason why um, people can't get cable in the county, is that because it is still considered to be more suburban and rural? I don't know if they think it's economically advan oh. advantageous to it. I know where we lived formerly that 
everyone would have had to agree to pay for it or one person would have uh, just had the whole financial responsibility for it in a particular area. So like your neighborhood yes. would all have to come together? Okay. Um, and going back to high school, do you see any major changes in the way that students were when you were in high school compared to how teenagers are now? I think there's more peer pressure tremendous peer pressure, tremendous uh, pressure in many different ways of, of having different types of things, um, being part of this crowd or that crowd, or I think there's a lot more, I'd hate to say bullying or strained relationships. It amazes me when I hear about girls fighting in high school. I mean, that would have been, a, to be gender specific, that would be an unheard of when mm -hmm. I was in high school, uh, that, you know, people got along or you stayed with your own group and there wasn't this tremendous, I think, dislike or, or hate or um, polarization among groups like that. I mean, we had separate groups and, th and things like that, but I mean, there were no animosity between them like you see today. Um, what do you think the result is? Because, like, the result for that is? I think that students don't get the trust and the, and the sense of community that you, you get when you are be able to be closer and trust the people around you and not focus on, you know, well, what somebody's going to think of you and, and what, you know, if you don't have this or don't have that and, you know, that people are going to not like you mm -hmm. and tremendous pressure to be, to be dating even nowadays. I mean, that's a tremendous pressure and to be, you know, exclusive dating. If I like one person, I can't be with a, another person or my group isn't going to like them. I think that's it's tremendous pressure. I think parents have more pressure on kids to achieve and they want everybody to be in AP classes and things like that and not the respect for for being at whatever level you are and doing your best. And do you think that's a direct result um, with the more urbanization of Carroll County? Or do you think that's just more of a general national? I think it's a general, more national. Okay. It's probably changed here because of a larger population. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and with the urbanization of the county, um, how do you think that's affected the county economically, politically, socially, everything like that? Like with the highways coming in and being sh built, the shopping centers? It's All a that. mixed blessing mm -hmm. because it's really wonderful to have rest more restaurants in the area and more things that you can do and more services like uh, when I grew up there was not a local hospital. There is now a, mm -hmm. a wonderful Carroll Hospital Center and doctor's offices and more things so I think the, the growth has brought things like that. I mean larger schools like we said larger schools and, and better advantages. I think it's good because it's brought people in from different areas so that it's broadened um, the Carroll County view. And people will often say, well, you know, you don't seem like you're from Carroll County <laughs> because I have a more broader view. Maybe it's because of where I work and what I've been mm -hmm. exposed to. Uh, I think we, we've we gained tremendously from the people who've come in. I don't think we really have the infrastructure to support tremendous growth yet as to fire and police and things like that, that's a concern. Where is everybody going to get water? Mm -hmm. How is everybody going to have take care of the, of, I, I'm concerned about the ecosystem. I mean, you can't just build, and where I live, we're particularly concerned about the airport expansion. And people say, well, it's going to bring lots of jobs. Where I live, I live off of 97, which is tremendous traffic, because a lot of my friends and other people live in Pennsylvania, but come down to Maryland, which fills the highways. People from Maryland go to Pennsylvania and work also. Mm -hmm. It works both ways. Um, the highways are tremendous. I don't think the jobs are here. I think most people in my neighborhood, some work in D.C. I mean, some travel at least an hour or so from work. I'm very fortunate I travel closely. Mm -hmm. um, I, as I say, I think it's a mixed blessing. We certainly have become a more rich community. I like to see more cultural things for people to do. We do have it with two colleges in the community, with the Carroll County Arts Center being a wonderful repurposing of uh, an old movie theater. It certainly brings a lot to the community. But we have places to go yet. We have, we need to grow. Downtown Westminster needs to be a step up that people really want to go there. We lose small businesses. Yeah. And that's the concern. Uh, I mean, I love having a Walmart here. I've certainly, or things like that, I'm not anti. Uh, things like that, but we also need to have some growth in small businesses. Um, how would you consider getting back to that, like getting back to the small businesses without losing the Walmart 
or anything like that? I think we need to encourage them. I think we need to know they're there. I think we need to just be more aware and to be maybe more economically supportive of mm -hmm. small businesses. Okay. Um, what do you think overall is the biggest change that has happened to Carroll County in your entire lifetime? Traffic. Traffic? <laughs> Traffic, um, which comes with everything along with it. Um, I, I love living here. Mm -hmm. I hate a three-mile drive that takes 20 minutes. Wow. Uh, in the evening, it takes a lot of patience, but maybe we all need to, to have some patience <laughs> with it. Um, it's, it's good to see to have the advantages of having a hospital and having businesses that are close by that we can, can support and use. It's wonderful living in, the, in communities that are more, there's planning going on and not just crazy economic development. Yeah. I get concerned about that. Huge houses built on small tracts of land. Where I live, I'm very fortunate because I'm surrounded by a horse farm and a golf course. And so I think I have the best of all worlds there in a small neighborhood with still rural characteristics. Mm -hmm. And I, I really hate seeing the, the farmland disappear. Yeah. Um, all right. Is there anything else that you would like to share about your experiences living in Carroll County? I feel very fortunate mm -hmm. to have grown up in Carroll County and the school systems and the communities that I have with my church and with other groups that I've been involved with over the county. I think it's a wonderful place to live. I get concerned about it, um, but I wouldn't want to live elsewhere. And I always tell the people, my relatives, a lot of them are living now in Carroll County that were from other places in mm -hmm. the country, uh, my, my married family, <laughs> the family I'm married into. And I say, well, those of us who've been here knew a good thing, and the rest of you have just come to join us. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking to me, Jane. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.